The video you're about to watch after I finish talking is a clip from a video that's on my Patreon page and it's called Everything You Need to Know About Spirits. Now there's three segments at the moment and every week there's another segment. Now there's loads of videos on my Patreon page already, there's 41, but the, the so the clip you'll be watching is from segment one and it's going through absolutely everything you need to know about spirits. So hopefully you like it, if you do like it, uh, what you see in a second, the clip of it, feel free to watch the longer video, way longer, on my Patreon page, uh, which is called Our True History. Thank you very much. <laughs> Was there really a Big Bang, and what's that got to do with spirits? It's when spirits first started. Stephen Hawking suggested that if the universe is expanding, then if we rewind it, we would see it go back to a single point of time. Now, is that the only reference we have to the Big Bang? Actually, the Emerald Tablets of Thoth talk about the Big Bang. Thoth was a god in ancient Egyptian times text for the Emerald Tablets first appeared in a number of early medieval Arabic sources, the oldest of which dates to the late 8th or 9th century. It was translated into Latin several times in the 12th and 13th century. Numerous interpretation and commentaries followed. There were 10 tablets which were divided into 13 parts. The last two are so great and far reaching in their importance that at present it is forbidden to release them to the world at large, so it's claimed. Because of these translations by different people over centuries, we can say with some degree of certainty that the translations copied something. Sadly, the original tablets have been lost or hid away from view. This is the text about the start of the universe from the Emerald Tablets. In the beginning there was void and nothingness, a timeless, spaceless nothingness, and into nothingness came a thought, purposeful, all-pervading, and it filled the void. There existed no matter, only force, a movement, a vortex of vibration, of purposeful thought that filled the void. Although the creation of the universe in the tablets come from a thought, it's the only thing we have to go on. And it actually makes sense, because everything in the physical world has a top, bottom and two sides, yet the universe may not. Only a thought is endless. <laughs> 